What is going over? Welcome to 24-7 Football and it's another kits video for the 2020-21 to 21 season. There's new kits coming out, new leaks as well um, and we're going to be speaking through them. So we spoke through a few kits on the last episode of this and who doesn't like talking about kits? So we're going to do a few more as well. So I'm joined by Jack, um, again Leeds fan and we've got a Leeds kit, Jack, to bring to everyone. Um, his face says it all, his face says it all but... How are you, Jack? You all right? Yes, all right, mate. Starting uh, to get excited about football returning and uh, the slow demise of our season. <laughs> I don't think you'll do a Leeds. I think you're going up, but we'll um, we'll speak about that one again. So, kits. Last week we had Manchester United's um, rumored home kit. We said it looked like a bus seat. We said it wasn't that nice, and it seems like that one wasn't actually correct um so i do apologize for that one it, it was sort of there but this is the actual kit um do you know what jack i quite like it now um, yeah. as much as much as i can say that about a united kit it's clean it's it looks all right now yeah it's just it's, it's what we said we said it like on, on on that on that episode that the this, with teams like united you just need to keep it simple just Plain and red, that's all it needs to be. And it's that, that's what they've done. That, that's that's all a United shirt needs to be. You can't really complain with that, can you, as a, as a United fan? You can't, no. Um, like I said, I am compelled to not like United kits. But I do I do Absolutely. quite like that United kit as well. But they've also got um, an away kit, which we will bring up now, the black one. It's a similar design. Um, and you know what? Again, it's simple, but I, I rather like it. Yeah, I think they've had a I think they had a black kit before. I think they have, haven't they? It's, yeah, they've it, had loads. Yeah, again, it's it, it's it's all you need from a United kit, and I, I they, they I think they've they've done they've done it justice for them. There. I mean, they're going to be wearing that when they come to Ellen Road next season, <laughs> uh, which is a little bit of a shame because there probably won't be any fans there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Which is, you know, the big the big shame about it. But I'd say that black one out of ten, I'd give that a solid seven. I think clean, crisp. What what more do you want? Yeah, no, both both are seven slash eight out of ten for me. Just if because it's United, I'm not I'm not going up to nine. Yeah, how horrible is it to say that? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, next up we'll go Man City's home kit and mosaic theme for this one, which is a bit in keeping with the city that mosaic theme that you see throughout Manchester. Uh, it's all right. Um, they've tried to go a little bit different with it. At the end of the day, it's a white collar, light blue shirt, which is what we've grown accustomed to at City. Um, tried to go a little bit out there. I've seen it on Sergio Aguero, like a mock-up. I think it looks nice. I, I, I've, I just think, again, it's, it's not too out there and it's quite safe, whereas the third kit is definitely out there. Yeah, again, it just goes back to that same argument, keeping it simple for me. I think it's just teams like City, United... Liverpool, Everton, teams that have you know just one solid colour as their home colours, just keep it that colour for me. Um, it looks like a load of smashed glass, that kit, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, what, what are you saying about it, then? Do you, do you think... It... I, I don't think it's bad. I, I think it's all right. I think this, I think City will get away with it. I just... I, I just, I just I, it's just me being maybe a bit old fashioned. I just, I just like to see it plain, plain sky blue. That, that kid for me. <laughs> we want it plain. None of these fancy lines. <laughs> none of this fancy glass. Yeah, I agree. Um, I give it a six because I can't. Re it's just, it's just average for me. It, it could have been a lot worse, and for that, yeah, I would, do. I'd give that comfortably. A six. Yeah, I think it's okay it, with white shorts and it on. It, it'll all get a bit better. Um, right. So we'll, we'll. We'll go abroad first before we go back to Leeds. So, Ajax have actually released their away kit this week. Yeah. I I love it. <laughs> it's, I really do. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. I mean, they they tend to have a lot of good um, good away kits and good good home kits anyway. I actually can't go wrong with that at all. It's absolutely beautiful that that uh, that away kit. I mean, it just is so nice. I don't know what. I'm I'm really liking about it. It's just the colour. I, I think like where we said retro's back, isn't it? Yeah, retro's definitely back. I just think those colours with the white and red just they just really really complement each other, don't they? they? Look fantastic. And they always have a good kit, and you know that that's another one. So when a team like Ajax that's got quite a big, you know, um, market abroad as well, yeah. when they bring out a kit like that, who's not going to buy it? Oh, absolutely. I, that'll do very very well. That kit, I'm sure. I'm going to give it a nine. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd probably follow you with that nine. I I'm going to give it a nine. It's almost faultless. It is, and it, I, I don't know what it is when you get Adidas stripes at the top. Makes yeah. everything in a 10 times better on a kit as well. Yeah. So, very, very good play by Ajax. Oh, we're going to need to talk about Leeds. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I just said Adidas stripes at the top make it all better, but oh, that's awful, Jack. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's horrendous. It's I don't, absolutely awful. I don't know where they're going with it. I, I... It's So, there was, um, it's quite funny, actually. There was an interview with um, our CEO, Angus Kinnear, this week. Uh, with one of our one of the Leeds forums, LUFC talk, and they basically said to him, "Why can we just not have a blue slash yellow or blue and yellow away kit?" And his answer, his response basically was I mean, that they're just trying to explore all areas of our fan base, essentially saying we're not going to get a blue and yellow away kit, which is what makes me think that that's all the more real, and it, it's quite scary. I mean, it could just be a template. I mean, could is be. it? I think I know where they're going with the stripes because it's quite. A, it, well, I don't want to say it's traditional with Leeds, but they, if, I don't know if you uh, you recall the um, the uh, green and sort of green and dark blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the in the nineties, the um, quite famous. Uh, you always see your borough in that shirt, um, and that that's quite a nice kit. But again, it's just it's just too far away from our traditions for me. I just, we had a we had a yellow away kit last season, which was just absolutely stunning, and I don't know why they can't just keep it to that. You did, you know what? I like your pink kit as well. Um, the, black, on the, the, black and, the black and yellow uh, away kit we've had this season is actually the highest selling of all time for us. Really? Yeah, which is quite quite wow. fun. Thingy though, the the Leeds kit that I'm looking at now, so that I don't know whether it's real. It yeah it doesn't it doesn't look too real, but footy headlines are usually quite spot on with things yeah. like this, and it has got the Yorkshire Rose on the back as well. Yeah, it doesn't look too crisp the picture, but. Again, it's footy headlines, and they are they do tend to be pretty spot. I wouldn't be surprised if it was too far away from that. Um, whether it's not it will, great. Whether it will be that or not, I don't know, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was too far away from that just because the stripes can be quite a traditional thing with us. But Yeah, the, I mean... But the, colour, the colours are awful. They are awful, and the Adidas sign's not even the same colour as the, the Adidas stripes. Is it? I just, it, yeah, I know. It doesn't... And the badge just looks small. I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I'm going to give it a one, mate. I, I can't, <laughs> I can't give it any, anything more than that. That is, that's putrid. If it was, if the colours were a bit crisper and it was the green and, and the the lighter blue in that picture was green, I'd be giving it higher. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm probably going to go one or two for that. Not, not, not good at all. It's subject to change. I mean, when the, yeah. it's, it's always the case, isn't it, with kits? When you see it on a player or when you see it, in a better version. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes your opinion sways. Like when you see Leeds walking out in the Premier League with that kit on, it might might change <laughs> yeah. your opinion. Yeah. Um. So that's Leeds. We've actually got two Tottenham kits because we bashed Tottenham on the last episode. We did bash them a little bit because the kit was the home kit that we leaked was just so uninspiring and just seemed a bit plain. Whereas I'll bring up the away kit first, which is the green one. Again, I don't know what the colour scheme is doing for Tottenham here. I really don't. Um, when, when when you look at the green one, Jack, I, I, I'm struggling to, to really gel with it. I, I actually love the design of the shirt. I just don't like the colour. <laughs> Um, the actual design of the shirt, the little thing going down the side. I like the crew neck. I, I actually quite like the design of it. I just, it's just the colour, the green, the green, the black, and the pink mixing down the side. It's, it's a bit strange for me. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the colour. Yeah, and um, they've got a leak of the third kit as well, which is this yellow one. Right, I actually quite like it, and I think you do too. I think we spoke about it a little bit, but I don't like where the Nike, um, I don't like where the badges are. I don't. They've sort of gone for what Newcastle went for last season, and it just yeah. it doesn't really go. But the actual kit, I quite like. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, that is very. I don't like that position and the badges at all. But it, the actual kit is very nice. Um, yeah, no, no, no real complaints with the color. I think they. It's, it's it's a very nice crisp kit. But yeah, the the badges cannot be placed like that. Because we always know with a third kit as well, it's always going to have to stand out because it's usually European away kit uh, away kit as well. Yeah. So I get why they've done it. There's a few little stripes on there. I like the I like the yellow one. 
Not a fan of the green one. I think I'd give the green one a five. Because I do like, like you say, I do like mm. the design. The yellow one, I'll give a six. Just because I don't like the positioning of the badges. But it's okay. It's all oh, right. Yeah. But... The, the green one, I'd be giving a five. The yellow one, if the badges were positioned better, I'd probably be giving it an eight. But yeah, probably a six. An me. eight? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Do you know what? If that's the best of your free kits, it's not a great season for Spurs fans. Um, one more one abroad. Marseille. This is their new away kit. Now, before I pretend to know why the design is loads of houses with lights on, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> but regardless of the historical context of the kit, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I it's really really do nice. like it. Really nice. Sorry, is this their away kit? Away kit, yeah. Yeah, no, it's really nice. It looks quite traditional Marseille colours, isn't it? Um, yeah, no, I don't think there can be any complaints there. It's a, it's a good one from Puma, that. I think Puma like to push the boundaries, don't they? They do like to push quite the boundaries. Quite hit and miss, Puma. Yeah, they, they are hit and miss in terms of you don't really know which side of Puma you're going to get because sometimes, yeah. you know, with our third kit last season, City's third kit last season... Oh, sorry, this season because it's not finished. Um, yeah. Hit and miss is is probably the perfect way yeah. to describe Puma. But that Marseille kit, I, I really do. I really do like it. Um, I'm it's not just... really sure what the historical context is around the houses, um, around the houses in the third kit. Not Not got a clue. But when a kit is out there, I do like it. It's just something about kits like that. They're just like without the sponsor and stuff. I just think it looks amazing. Yeah, I think when um, you've got to have a, a good sponsor to pull a kit off. You know, yeah. it's like if City were to go away from Etihad, which is being spoken about. I think the Etihad logo is really crisp and really clean. Yeah, is that yeah? Whereas I think the Chevrolet badge, I don't like it on a kit for United. Yeah, but huge, when they had it? when they had AIG, it was nice. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's all about the sponsors. And I think another one which is about the sponsors, the kits we're going to get onto, is Barcelona. Yeah. When, I, I mean, this is their away kit, the black one. That is so clean. That's, that's that amazing. Is so clean. So crisp. Yeah, that, that's absolutely stunning. Yeah, like we were saying with the sponsor, that, that's, if you, when you're having a sponsor on the shirt, you want it looking like that. It's just, it, it just looks so clean and crisp. It really just goes. Stuff. It just goes, doesn't it, with yeah. the actual kit as well. The whole kit's black as well. Black shorts, mm. black socks, and I do. I, I really do think that's stunning. Again, you could, they're going to be wearing that um, in all their away games. I just think it's stunning, mate. <laughs> I yeah. really do. Yeah. Are we? Are, are you going nine for that one? Oh, for the oh for the Marseille one. Sorry, I was going to go eight. I'll go eight, and oh, then yeah. for that for that Barca away one. Yeah, I've got to go with nine. That's lovely. Eight and nine for me on that as well. I'll follow you on that one. There's something about a kit. Do you know, like when it, it just counters everything that I've said because I go, oh, yeah, I love it when like kit manufacturers like push the boat out with certain kits. <laughs> yeah. You do. And then when you get a clean and crisp kit like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's all you need. Oh, it's all you need sometimes. Yeah, sometimes less is more, as yeah. they say, in, in the fashion industry, which is what we're involved in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And their third kit, I'll bring that one up now. It's pink. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I, re- I really do. I've got a thing for... I have, I have got a thing for pink. I had the pink um, Mercurials when I was younger. Yeah. I saw Nicholas Bentner wearing them. It's and just, It's so pink. It is so pink, but it is for me, that is beautiful. But they've had a pink kit before, I think, haven't they, Barcelona? Yeah, they have had a pink kit. Um, I, remember, I remember, always remember Ronaldinho in that one. Um, but yeah, no, no, it is, it is very nice. I like the fact that it's um, consistent with the uh, the black one in terms of the design. Um, it's obviously just a change of colour. That's all it is. Um, so yeah, no, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I don't mind that. Ah, uh, big fan. I'm a big fan. I mean, imagine Messi, whoa, tearing tearing up defences in that. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely. So we what we're giving that one. Right, I'm not gonna go for a ten because I'm not stupid. I don't want to get loads of abuse <laughs> from everyone. Um but I want to. I want to give it a ten. I'll give it a nine. <laughs> I'll give it a nine. Where are you um, going? I'm going eight. I'm going eight. Going eight. Well, 
do you know what? Those are some good kits, really yeah. good kits. And the thing about kits is, it just gets you excited even more for next oh, season does. as well. I know. I know. Yeah. And it's always it's always difficult as well because um, on on the topic of kits, I I don't really like wearing other people's tops. Um, so obviously you've got your retro Leeds one. Um, I I wear a city kit mm. and not the full kit. I'm not a full kit wanker. I just wear the, I was wear the top. Um, I have a real problem with wearing someone else's top. But have you ever gone for another football shirt? I know I was tempted to get the Nigeria one, for example, but I, yeah. I did. Have you ever worn one that wasn't Leeds? Certainly not in England. Uh, not an English shirt. I would never purchase. Another. That's 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 a that's a, an absolute. Yeah, I think I'd, for me it's more to... about um, it's more about memories of places I go. So I've been to you know I've been to see Barcelona play, and I've been to I've been to the Ajax Stadium. So I bought shirts at both those places more just as I, I don't really wear them. It's more just as a as a memory of being there um, more than anything. Um, I've actually my prized possession is a signed Emil Heskey Newcastle Jets shirt. Oh, Emil Heskey! Yeah, had a family member who played for Newcastle Jets at the time and got it for me. That is my prized possession. Wow, you know what? That's <laughs> quality. I wish I, I ain't got any signed shirts. Um, but out out of those kits, I think I'd be inclined to get the Ajax top. I really would. Yeah. I'd be inclined to get that one. I'd be inclined to get the the Barcelona pink. Yeah, sure. But where would I wear that? <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I used to get, but I used to have a few Barcelona tops when I was a kid because of my hit, my absolute hero was one Aldinho. You know, so I used to buy his tops. But that's strange because you play like him as well. I know. I know. It's incredible, really. <laughs> that's that's so strange because um, my my hero growing up was Emil Heskey, like you say. <laughs> I, I play like him. So <laughs> so those are the kits for this week. Uh, we'll have a few more next week. So um, as we get further towards the start of next season, we should see a lot more of um, the smaller teams bringing out their leaks as well, because at the moment it's just necessarily the big teams, which is a bit of a shame because I do like seeing how the other teams will go. The only one, the only thing we've really got to go off is that Newcastle's will be yellow, which is what we brought to you last week as well. Um, but there is a really nice Celtic third kit that we will be doing on next time's show as well. So um, thank you to everyone for watching. Let us know what you think of the kits down below. Please don't give me any abuse for that Barcelona uh, top. It is really nice. Um, so let us know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Check out our website, 247football.com, and we shall see you next time. <laughs>